Is this, uh... Is this a trailer home? It's a mobile home. What did I just say? They're not the same thing. A trailer home hooks up to the back of a truck and can be towed around. You can take it from place to place. A mobile home arrives on a trailer, like towed by a big truck. Go on. A mobile home doesn't have wheels. Well, why didn't you just say that? Well, I, I will admit it took me a moment to untangle the nuances. Sheesh, what happened here? Looks like the wall gave way. Water damage, I guess. What is this thing? It's the water heater. Oh, that, that's why you said water damage. I get it, I'm following along. Well, it's not going anywhere now. Can we climb over it? No! God, look at all that rusty metal. I'm up on my tetanus shots, aren't I? We're not risking it. Well, what's that thingy back there? Hmm, it's a maintenance hatch? For getting down into the crawl space under the house. Is there any other way into the crawl space? I think there's a way to get in from around the back. Why are you acting so excited? Well, if we could get into the crawl space, we could climb back up out of that hatch and get over to that side of the mobile home to find more stuff. I'm not sure why you're using the plural here. And also, I really want to see if there's any cool, creepy stuff under there. Like a skeleton. Listen, you can give it a peek if you want, but there is no way I'm crawling under there with you. You're on your own. Hey, no problem. More cool, creepy stuff for me. So, this is how we get into the crawl space? You keep saying we. So, this is how intrepid people with an innate sense of curiosity get into the crawl space? Among other personality traits, yes. Fine then, I'll go it alone. You're probably too frail to get in here anyway. Those creaky knees of yours. Wow. Okay, into the filthy crawl space you go. See you on the other side. This is good. Mom's gotta see this. Mom, I found a way in. Hang on, I'll open the back door. Hey, Mom? I found something. Look, look! Another letter. He wanted to live with Grandma on a boat? Maybe we can figure out where the boat was by looking at the photo. It looks like... well... It looks like a boat. A houseboat. Hmm. Can't see much of the surrounding area. It's near... trees? Maybe we can look for some of those. A place in Canada with trees. That narrows it down.
Now, what is this? During the summers when we'd come here, I had a summer job as a waitress at the drive-in. On roller skates? Like in the movies? Yeah, I guess. If those movies were based on reality, you know. You are cute! Oh, I don't know. Oh, please, Mom, stop. You were cute then, and you're, uh, hot mom now. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> According to the boys at school, you are my hot mom. You didn't know about this? What? No! I am not. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's great. It's great having all the boys at school talking about how hot your mom is. It's great. Regardless, this photo of you is real neat, and I think we should keep it. Sure. Why not? Go Mechanics! Oh, man. I forgot that August had this. I let her keep it when I moved into the van. But August didn't even go to Fort State. She almost did. We were both so excited to, growing up. Don't you remember Grandma talking about how much she loved it? I remember her talking about how sexist it was. Yeah, well, everything was sexist back then. But we're a Ford State family. You'll be a triple legacy. Yeah, I guess. It'll be so exciting. Oh man, you're gonna love it. Eating lunch at Ford Hall, doing all-nighters in the library. Oh, there was this time when Lucy and I broke into the art building after hours. <gasps> I don't even know if I want to go to college. What do you mean you don't know if you want to go to college? Of course you're going. I can make my own choices. What kind of choice is that, to be broke? I'm not gonna be broke. I've been working really hard on my design business. And August didn't go to college. August was lucky. She's talented, but she's also lucky. When I'm 18... Look, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's not a discussion. Fine. I'd recognize that penmanship anywhere. This piece was clearly done by an accomplished artist. A cartographic prodigy? Do you think there'd be anything there to dig up that was left behind? It'd be like a time capsule. Maybe she was gonna come back for it later. It was her first investment. <laughs> she got started early. I don't know. Let's just go see what it is. I mean, fair enough. You gotta go along to get along. Oh, that's not what this is. She's telling her to act her age, not conform. Isn't that the same thing? Of course not. What happens if you don't look out and meet friends who you get along with perfectly? I feel like there are people for everyone, but what if you never meet them? Ships in the night. Most people meet them later in life. Meeting a good friend in grade school is incredibly lucky. But what does someone like that do? Just have no friends? Get bullied by a bunch of twerps? Grandma just wanted her to have friends. Don't act like you didn't buy me hush puppies in seventh grade. You said you wanted those. I wanted them because I wanted to have friends, not because I thought they were cute. That's terrible. Those were expensive. So what? So you compromise a little aesthetically and you can maintain your interior uh, individuality. You know what I mean? 
Clothes are the most boring form of expression. What am I gonna do, get a nose ring to be different so I can look like every other person with a nose ring? You are a very strange teenager, Tess. <laughs> See, I've maintained my individuality. You ready to unearth this mystery? You are really getting into the mess on this trip. Crawling through old crawl spaces, digging in the dirt. It's for the sake of the adventure, Mom. Don't let me stop you. So this is where August buried her feelings. Mom! Come on, it's sad. What? I don't know. Maybe we should keep it. Maybe August would want it. I think so too. We can just put it in the car. Welcome back, Nightshade. It's out there. Somewhere. That buried bootlegger gold. Uh-huh. Bigfoot, too, I hear. Do you think he found the gold already? What makes you so sure Bigfoot's a he? Oh, I love it. Equal opportunity cryptids. Very forward thinking. It's 2003, Tess. Anyone can be a big... It's your funky van. And it's locked. Gotta keep all the funky stuff in there secure. Please tell me the keys are somewhere. I need to see what a lava lamp looks like after it just sits there mutating for 30 years. They might have been... Hmm... I can't remember. Don't do this to me, Mother. I have to see how much tie-dye is in there. Please. Oh! August was always trying to steal my keys so she could get in there and mess with my stuff. They're probably in her room. Oh, the little criminal! All right, I'm on the case. The funky stuff is so close, I can taste it. What's in here? That was my mom and dad's room. Well, just my mom's room last we were here. Well, dang it, that door stuck. I think... Look, we could twist the latch open if... I think I could get this open with a flathead screwdriver. Awesome. Where's one of those? Um... Oh, 
I had a little toolkit in the glove box of my van. Nice. Aha! This must be the key to the van! Oh, it's everything I'd imagined. It's got an ugly lamp, an acoustic guitar, <laughs> a concerning scent of mold? I mean, what do you expect? It's been under this carport for 30 years. That's why I'm not coming inside. Okay, I'll just look around and get out. It is kind of gross in here. You're just looking for the screwdriver, right? Right. Don't get too nosy, all right? All right, all right. But look at all this stuff. Wow. Mom was even into theater back then. Huh. Wow. Brutal, Lori. Brutal. But... kind of fair. Holy shit. How was the stuff? Funky as you'd hoped? Well, I found, um, this. I came to work at the diner one night, and they said someone had left a note for me. And it was this stupid thing. <laughs> that sucks, Mom. I just felt like such an idiot. I all my energy into plans, planning how we'd be able to stay together, planning how our life was going to be, planning how he'd be the answer for how I was going to be okay. And then one day, this. 
I don't know if I've ever cried as much as I did for the week after I got this. He seems like maybe he just wanted something different than you. Uh, well, he could have told me that. Instead, he just played along, told me what I wanted to hear. Until one day it was just goodbye. Not even face to face, just this selfish little note. And he was gone. There was a lesson I should have learned that summer. You can't rely on other people. What? If you put your trust in other people, if you expect them to be there for you, one day they won't be. So what, you shouldn't have friends or relationships? Well, no, I just mean you can care about other people, but you have to be ready for them to go away and be okay on your own when they do. Are you... You're making it sound like... Are you saying Dad left you? I thought you said you both agreed to get divorced. <clears throat> well, either way, he's not here, is he? Mom, what happened? With you and Dad splitting up? He always makes it sound like... Like you wanted him to leave, but... He does? I, I mean, I... If he's telling you I wanted this, I... <laughs> <laughs> See? This is why you need to be okay on your own. If you're fine on your own, when they leave, you don't have to feel this way. Remember that. Well... I've got the screwdriver. Good. That's good. Ah, door, we meet again, but this time, I'm ready for you. Hey, good work. Thanks, Mom. Ah, oh, my mom loved this desk. I remember when she brought it home from the flea market. Jeez, how many desks did Grandma have? Uh, kind of a lot, I guess. I mean, she was a writer. She liked to move around. Well, let's see what she was hiding in here. Ugh, it's locked. Hmm. This gives me an idea. The little key? From Grandma's diary? <gasps> right! What's that? What? I'm sorry. What? What does he mean? When he says those are his kids? Uh, I... W was Grandpa Leo m not your real dad? I... Could that have been why he was trying to run away with you in August and Grandma Helen? I can't even imagine. Look, look, Mom. Look. This one. This note. It has a return address. Pierre Lautrec. Box 9, Hop to Lake, Carndale, Ontario. Do you want to go check it out? What? No. No? But... Tess, we already drove however many hours up here and dug around getting dirty and all this stuff. I'm not driving us to Canada based on some return address from over 30 years ago. We have the rest of the house to pack up, and I still need to call the electric company to schedule our end of the service, which I probably should have done sooner, and- Mom, <sighs> stop.
The house can wait a day. This can't. The house actually can't wait. A day? I mean, come on. It can't be that far of a drive. It says it's right across the border. And if we don't do it now, you think we're really ever going to come back? You could find out who this guy really was. Who your father really was. Who we really are. But not if we just turn around and go home. Okay, listen. Yes. Hey, I I'm not doing this because of your sterling rhetorical skills. You didn't win this one. I just happen to agree with you. I do want to know who my mother might have been mixed up with, and, and why she never told me about it, and who my real father is. And if we go check out this address, we might find nothing. But we might find something. So if one more day of driving is all it takes to find out one way or the other... Then why not, right? Right. Glad I could convince you. No, you just happened to be right. Exactly. Glad you came around to see things my way in the end. Okay. Should we get going? It's getting dark. Yeah. Let's find somewhere to stay for the night. We'll look up directions. Get back on the road in the morning. Hotel night. We're getting room service. Thank you, Mom. Best weekend ever. But we didn't find that hidden fortune you were so excited about. Yeah. Maybe it's on the other side of the border. <laughs> Maybe. Come on, let's get out of here. Time to order that room service. Uh... This is not the kind of place that has a room service. I'm sorry. What? Hotels do room service. This is a motel. Just like the summer place was a mobile home and not a trailer. Right. But the other way around. But there's a restaurant and lounge right next door, though. I'm gonna head down there and get us dinner, okay? And I'm going to have a cocktail while I wait been a long day. I'll be back with something to eat soon. Well, all right. That's almost like room service. What do you want to eat? Oh, um, burger? Um, burger it is. Do your homework.
Oh, how lovely. Dirt-flavored water. No thanks. Oh yeah, definitely stealing these. 